All right, guys, we're about to meet the BJJ champion. We're at the UFC center here, and uh, yeah, his name is Gordon Ryan, and I'm super excited. My first time meeting him, he is supposed to be the best in the world, so I'm excited. Let's go. Gordon is undeniably the best pound for pound jiu jitsu player on earth. Not just the best, but best ever. I always want to try this because yeah. I, I think I think you'd be good. I think so, actually. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Like yeah. I, I, I think I. Think Maybe that's the next step, Pavel. Oh, no, no. <laughs> wait, 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 also that thing. <laughs> 30, 34, or something this now. Of course, yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, yeah, we're excited. So uh, I have rolled a little bit in the past. I have no technique at all, okay. nothing at all. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to come here and learn from you. Yeah. You're competing tomorrow, which is crazy. Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to just taking the time and you know, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's absolutely nuts. <laughs> Okay. Do you have anything specific yeah. you want to go over or you want to just uh, go with the flow? I, I think I just want to listen to you and have you tell us what to do. Perfect. Yeah, you're the, you're, you're the champ. You're the, you know, you know everything about the sport, so, yeah. Do you have an over on me? Yeah. It's like beautiful. If I'm going to get up from here and you're going to put heavy pressure at left shoulder, it's exactly all the way in here. The second I move in here, yeah. you're going to keep me down. Yeah. It makes no, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. Now, if I move to the waist, yeah. your knees in front. Yeah. You're gonna put pressure on me. I get throw up. Yeah. If my knee comes in front. If my knee comes yeah. in front, you yeah. get a, you get a wizard. Throw me down again. Yeah, it's a lot harder. Yeah. Feel nothing. Yeah, yeah. Now I can start yeah. going in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, to the waist. All inside control. All over. Wow. So about so so initially the escape to inside position. Once you get up, it's about knee position. Yeah. Inside knee position. It's like everything. Knee comes, yeah. In front and inside. Yeah. yeah. The moment you're here, like. Yeah. Uh, I got now yeah. when you go to joust, you got to put heavy shoulder pressure. I, I, I just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. That's very cool. How, How much do you weigh? I'm like 225 right now. Yeah. So. Um, is there a weight limit in? in uh, that so for ADCC, it goes by kilograms. So it's uh, the men's division is 66, 77, 88, 99, and then over 99. So anything Ooh. over. Anything over it's 99 actually, kilos, 217, is uh. Yeah, you competed. Uh, yeah, I, I won the, the 88, 2017, 2019 I did 99, and then this last one I did 99 plus. I was the smallest guy, but I just wanted to win. I wanted to win the third division because I'll be the first person ever to win three weeks. So cool, Gordon. So. <laughs> I think that's cool. Yeah, it's been great. Happy you're up. Yeah. Still a joke. <laughs> That was crazy. What did that wow. feel like? Uh, <laughs> literally threw me in the air and just like on the back. Like I felt like I had a lot of control just with him there. Just able to put his legs inside somehow, somehow. And I don't know the <laughs> technique, but he was able to throw me literally on my back. Yeah. Once once you feel the legs come inside, then you feel you're losing the pin. So you have to lock up tighter, but then you're extension becomes a liability yeah I sure. then you don't have a base so when you feel like you're getting elevated let go base and you can stay on top because i felt like i had control but then all of a sudden i was just going back yeah it's crazy yeah once once you start losing the inside position like once my legs are inside and you're back in guard then you gotta release the hands adjust hand position yeah otherwise you just hold on and you end up getting swept which you didn't have to you just didn't post. You can do like a couple more rounds. You just want to just start on top and then we'll just move around a little bit. Like this is like a normal. Yeah. Where, I, where I start like this or where I start like how where I start? I guess that's fine. You're just trying to mount him. Okay. 
Okay. So just move around, trying to get past my leg, trying to get chest to chest, pin me. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yep. <laughs> That's insane. Was that full effort, Thor? Was that full effort? I mean, yeah, yeah. like what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah, again, he's so good with his with his movements, and and I mean, obviously, the best in the world. So he, like, I. I just had nothing to do with this. It's nice to try though. Let's try. <laughs> Almost the way. Uh, 340. I'm a huge fan of you. Now. You said you once competed against guys that was 390? 394. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's a small fat guy. That's so having uh, Hafsa on top, what was it? What was um, it so it was terrible. Um, so they I mean, they're both equally terrible. Um, but uh, Martin's a lot more compact and a lot has a lot more center mass. Um, and also has a better base uh, than Thor, just like instinctually he trained a little bit. So um, from side control, I felt like his belly on my chest, and he was squeezing me. I'm like, am I really gonna have to tap from side control right now? It was. Like, and absorbent, absorbent amount of pressure, of pressure uh, from top side control. And then I finally escaped, and he was still hard to sweep. Like he's got you know, good base, he's got good instinct. Um, he lets go of pins. Uh, Thor was holding onto the pins a little bit too long, so you kind of narrow his base, and it was easy to kind of just kick his legs out and, and sweep him over. Uh, but both of them are just like otherworldly strong, and I truly believe that people that big and strong, it should be illegal for them to learn jiu-jitsu because uh, it's just it's way too much at that, at that point. You're 340 pounds shredded, and uh, you know, it's dangerous. You, you shouldn't be able to to learn any jiu-jitsu at that at that size. How did they roll? How did half half the roll? It was uh, it was pretty amusing to watch. I mean, not, I'm not gonna lie, but man, to, to see guys that big doing jiu-jitsu is, is really scary. Uh, so if they could actually like you know practice and, and get good, it's uh, it's gonna be a hard time for anyone who who tries to, to roll with yeah. them. You know, so it was, it was awesome to see. You have a beautiful fucking beard, man. Beautiful fucking soul, man. Let's do this. Oh. Experience means everything. Oh. Oh. Still again, still again. No. 
It's <laughs> okay. It's just, I don't like your cardio, bro. I'm good <laughs> chill for the day. You know that? Ah. All right, guys. Wow, what a fucking session. What a fucking session. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. I, I, I fucking appreciate you guys' times. And these beasts are competing tomorrow, <laughs> which is crazy. We're all very humble. Like, literally. I was like, I feel, I feel like I've been hurt. <laughs> I've been hurt. You can see uh, after every round, there's just a rage building up. I just want to do like more and more and more and more. But uh, it was nice, humbling, but at the same time, makes you want to learn more. Makes you want to come again, do more, especially like, they know you too. You guys are amazing human beings, nice, hum humble. So yeah, again, guys, thank hey, you so much. He actually is humble. Yeah, I, figure I, so I can't be worse than I am on social media, so <laughs> yeah. you can't be disappointed if you meet me in person. That was amazing, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace and <laughs> love.